What is up guys? Spot here and for today's video, we're gonna check out a 10 to 15k schoolwork slash office work PC. 10 to 15k PC? Is that even possible? Yes, it's possible though we'd be cutting some corners. This is a pre-built PC that most PC shops offer for those who need a budget-friendly PC for their day-to-day -day tasks like schoolworks and office works. But maybe some of you guys would like to have a little fun with it. So in this video, we're gonna check out is it possible to play with the specs that this PC has. But before that, let's have a word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Offers. CD Key Offers is an online marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys for cheap. They offer a legit Windows 10 Pro license key for only $19.44. But fortunately, CD Key Offers was kind enough to provide us a discount code, which grants us a 20% discount. To redeem the 20% discount, simply type C H I 20, then click apply. From $19.44, it is now down to $15.55. You can pay CD key offers through several payment methods. After settling the payment, you can immediately find your Windows 10 Pro license key code in your purchase orders. To use the code and activate your Windows, head on to your Windows settings, then click on Update and Security, then click on Activation. Copy and paste the code here, then click Next, then click Activate. Now your PC is activated with a Windows 10 Pro license key from cdkeyoffers.com. You can watch my full guide on how to buy a Windows 10 Pro license key from cdkeyoffers.com down in the description. Thank you cdkeyoffers for sponsoring this video. Okay, so just a heads up, this is a pre-built system from PC Options Gilmore. They were the ones who pick and choose the components and sold it as a whole system. If you plan on building something similar or building a PC in general, please pick and choose parts that is based on your needs. Like what I've said earlier, this PC is best suited for those who need a good, reliable, and budget-friendly PC that would not easily break the bank. So for the specs, what we have in here is an Athlon 200 GE. It's a 2-core 420 CPU with Vega 3 graphics. This means you can run this PC without a dedicated GPU, which also means saving a lot of money. The CPU also came with a stock cooler that you can use, that also saves you money, which you can allocate towards other parts of the PC. Paired with the CPU is an Asus Prime A320 motherboard. It has a total of 2 RAM slots that can handle frequencies up to 3200 MHz. It is also M.2 ready and has all the bells and whistles that you'll get from an A320 chipset. For the RAM, we have a 16GB single stick running at 2600 MHz. The client will mainly use this PC for spreadsheets and other RAM heavy projects. So if 16GB is not enough, you can easily add another 16GB single stick since there is a vacant RAM slot. For storage, we have a 128GB SSD to serve as the boot drive and a terabyte of hard drive for mass storage. Lastly, the case. What we have here is a fortress case which includes a 700W generic power supply. I really don't recommend generic power supplies but for this case, no pun intended, I think it will do just fine given the components are not that power hungry. Later on this video, we're gonna talk about what upgrades you can make to this PC. Yes, even with the budget price and specs, there's still room for upgrades that could set this PC for some entry-level gaming. But before we talk about that, let's test this PC out with some benchmarks. I tested the PC in 1080p as well as 720p since I think 1080p gaming is pushing it a bit too far but I still included it so you can get a better idea of its performance. I only tested it on games that I think most people play which are Valorant, GTA V, Apex Legends, and Rainbow Six Siege. Unfortunately, the clips from Apex Legends got corrupted so we are down to 3 games. <laughs>
As you saw from the benchmarks, the PC was struggling to play games in 1080p. This goes to show that the lack of a dedicated GPU makes it impossible to play modern titles with decent frame rates. For 720p however, we got playable frames while maintaining decent graphics quality. Although I would not recommend this PC if you're aiming for competitive play, since frames really does matter. But if you're into playing older titles, I think this PC can easily handle it. So what upgrade paths can you take to improve the PC's performance and get it to play games in 1080p with decent frame rates? Well first up is to upgrade the power supply to at least an 80 plus front rated and then get a dedicated GPU. A dedicated GPU will dramatically increase the gaming performance of this PC since the GPU will now handle most of the load when gaming. I suggest to pair it with a GTX 1050 Ti. You don't need to worry about any bottlenecks because the Athlon 200GE can fully utilize a 1050 Ti. GTX 1050 Ti's are more likely to be in stock than most cards out there but horribly priced at the current time of making this video. So your best bet is to snag one from the second hand market. Once you get a dedicated GPU and you plan on doing more productivity works, a CPU upgrade is the way to go. Fortunately, the motherboard is still on the AM4 chipset so you can put a 4 core or 6 core Ryzen CPU. I suggest the Ryzen 5 2600. It's a 6 core 12 threaded processor and it's still a capable productivity slash gaming CPU. Then for the RAM, instead of going for a 2x16 2600 MHz of memory, I suggest to get a 2x8 kit with at least 3200 MHz because Ryzen CPUs favors high frequency RAM. Lastly is to upgrade your case and case fans. I suggest to get a case with great airflow. But for the brand and design, it's totally up to you. To conclude this video, this PC is ideal for those who need a budget-friendly but reliable system for their day-to-day -day tasks such as office works and school works. Although there's some limitations, especially in gaming, you can still play and enjoy older titles. Upgradability is not a problem since you can get this PC into entry-level gaming as well as editing with the upgrades that I mentioned earlier. If I were to rate this PC for what it's worth, I would give it a solid 3.5 out of 5. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next one.